Hi, I'm a little silhouette of a man. Scaramouche, Scaramouche. Can you do the Fandango? No, I can't. I mean, either. I can't. I can't barely walk. How am I going to dance? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> um, I'm Ben. And I'm John. And together we're OCB. Reactions. And today we're going back in time to a band that never got any recognition. At so, least not here in the States. Yeah, but this is, uh, from a new subscriber. Uh, he dropped. He name dropped it. Yes. And I'm like, I'm just adding it to the list. Um, this is Arock, a metal band from France in the 80s. Which, because I lamented the fact, is like, I listened to all these bands all across Europe, some in Asia. There wasn't a bit in the 80s outside of Japan, there really wasn't a whole lot right. being exported. But it's like, France never gave us anything outside of the band Misanthrope, which didn't like at the time, friggin' love now. Oh, okay. It's like, I, I couldn't process it at first and uh and i and he said that like well we didn't really have a scene like we had bands but they would go away really quick because there was no support right um basically said like the prevailing culture made it kind of squashed it because it was considered lowbrow uh, so, 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 yeah, okay it kind of is but uh it's I, I i know i'm gonna butcher this but something like le hordes sauvages or savages. So I, I'm I taking mean, it to mean the savage hordes. Yeah, I'm not going to try to do a French accent. I always fuck it up. Well, so. I wasn't going for the accent. I was just going to try to pronounce it. Uh, you, you know, I learned Spanish in high school. Two and a half years in Japan, I learned quite a bit of Japanese. Never had any use for French. I mean, I talked to Filipinas, hordes online. So, you know, I know a little bit of Tagalog. Yeah. Um, I know, all the, I know all the body parts. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna, like, show me this body part. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, no no clue what we're actually getting. No, right I, here. it's like eighties. Just because it's eighties, it could be thrash. It could be you know traditional like power metal or like metal metal. Or, yeah. Yeah. Hell, it could it could be like an, an early death metal. Yeah. I mean, uh, you can kind of tell the the cover of it's aged. Yeah, I was yeah. like, is it an Auroch, like a like a prehistoric buffalo kind of thing? Uh, I don't know. I used to. Oh no, that was Ariok, not Auroch. That um, well, that's the oh. What was is that? Yeah, that always like, dude. That's a that's not a demon. That's a character out of Elric. Actually, there was a uh, there was a uh, biblical character named Ariok. No, there was a biblical city. No, there was also a character. Uh, oh, I, I'm not to look that up. I, I'm I not at, telling you you're wrong. But I, 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 I looked it up and it was a such and such beget such and such. Beget, oh, okay. beget Ariok, beget such and such. That's the only mention of him. But he's like, <laughs> yeah, he was a. He's one of those sperm collaborations. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but hey, why don't we just go ahead and get this started? Yeah. Since we have no clue what we're getting into with this, uh, maybe it was, it'll work a little bit faster this time. Probably not. No. Nope. Nope. There we go. great this is just some <coughs> good old metal it, it's like uh and when, when i heard the singer it's like oh so if scorpions had been a new wave of british heavy metal band they'd have sounded like this they came out of france yeah well oh, i mean the, it's like <laughs> it's got that production feel like of like the early iron maiden oh yeah uh, like 
Tigers of Pantang, Diamond Head. It's got Angel Witch especially. Because it's kind of airy. It, it, uh, it, 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 you hear everything in the right at the right levels, but there's a little like hissing. It's analog. Yeah. But, uh, and uh, yeah, I don't have to worry about whether or not I disagree with their lyrics since it's, you know. Is it in French? I couldn't quite tell. I, I'm pretty sure because I can't under I, I I can't pick out a single word. Oh, so, but uh, which had I got to hear this in the day, I wouldn't have given two shits. I've been jamming to this the whole time. Oh yeah, because this just rocks out. Yeah. This this is awesome. Uh, I'm glad that that they existed at one time, or if they still do. Hey, I'm glad you're still going. Yeah. Well, keep going with it. So it, it, it's showing like there should be a little more, but I'll hit play just to make yeah, sure. But I don't want it to be over. Yeah, it's yeah, over. It's over okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, um, no, I, I I really dug that. Now it, it wasn't really complex. No, it was just it, jammed. I mean, oh yeah, the solo. Um, it was a good solo. Uh, I've heard. I've heard better, well, yeah, but it was still a good solo. Um, I, I, I'll say right now that one reason why over here they never made it big was just the language barrier. Which, it, it's funny to me too, because like I always wondered, it's like, because I listen to, I'd say, oh, 40% of the bands I got into in the 80s were German. Okay. And it's like, they all sang in English. I'm like, well, they're German. Why are they singing German? It doesn't bother me. It's like, well, it's like, are they that worried about making it here in the States? Because they're not going to. They're too aggressive. They're too off the cuff. And it's like, oh, no. It's just everywhere in the world, English is, is a second language. And since, you know, China is a shithole country that doesn't let you do anything. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, they have some good metal bands, but, they, you know, they have to run to the States so they don't get executed like voodoo kung fu. Yeah. But um, um, they, uh, yeah, it's like... I was like, well, shouldn't American bands learn Chinese? There's three billion people there. So it's like, well, they, they don't have any money because, you know, they're, <laughs> they're oppressed. So, but, so, uh, so something I thought was at, uh, was really funny is, uh, you know, I was talking about the language barrier. And now th this one's odd. I, it's one of those, 
you know, when, when you're on Facebook and you get that stupid clickbait shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was one about, you know, one hit, the, one hit wonders and whatnot. And it got the 99 Red Balloons, mm-hmm. which to this day, I still love that song. Yeah, that's a good song. Mo- in most of Europe and in the United Kingdom, the English version of the song was the most popular. Really? Here in the States... It was 99 the, Left Balloons. Yeah. yeah, the German version was the more popular. You had both versions, but the German one yeah, sold I, more copies. I, I I had a copy of it, and I had the German version. Yeah. And I actually could sing along. I listened to it so much, I could sing along. But... Yeah. Uh, but... It, it, it's just one of those things that, yeah, uh, if it would have been in English, it, they probably would have actually kicked butt over here. They would have had a following for sure. Yeah. I mean, they there were so many bands. They probably got lost in a shuffle. Um, well, but, that, that and then uh, Herbert West did, which that's that, our subscriber, Herbert West, which is the coolest name on the face of the planet <laughs> because it's straight from H.P. Lovecraft. Uh, yeah, it's like, although I really do like Cornelius Antonius. I think it's just a cool name. Yeah, but um, uh, yeah, that uh, w- when he was talking about the fact that there was really no metal scene over there, that's something else that would have killed it. Yeah, is if you didn't have the scene, you're not going to make it. I think the thing that hit me the most is like, it's like man, their singer sounds so much like Claus Mine from the Scorpions. Oh yeah, he really it's did. Like, make, it kind of made me sad because it's like, wow, I remember the Scorpions before they were castrated. <laughs> Like, I think they all got married and their wives keep their testicles in their purse at home. Yeah, probably. And it's like, man, you guys are so fucking vaginas. Now you suck. Yeah. You used to be fucking awesome. Unless, but don't listen to the first album. It's fucking awful. But, um, <laughs> but uh, no. Yeah, I, this was awesome. There yeah. was not a note play that I didn't thoroughly enjoy. Then, yeah, I mean, it was obvious you had the 80s production. Which, yeah. you know, normally I would, that would be a bitch of mine is the production, but, uh, but uh, it's like, okay, this was done in the 80s, so. I mean, the levels were all there. I mean, yeah. it's like everything was where it needed to be. It just wasn't very, you know, there was airy. It yeah. was analog recording. So. Well, well, well it, on top of it, if you, if you were, it, the very beginning of it, it sounded like it was ripped off of a record. Yeah. So when you, you go from, hit some pop, yeah. When you go from a record into digital, yeah, it's not mastered for that, yeah, so it yeah, just kind of sounds like yeah. crap. Uh, I mean, I just thoroughly enjoyed that. I mean, I wish I'd have known about them back in the day. Yeah, so I could just like go out parade like, ha ha, I like this French band. Ha ha. Yeah, and yeah. Like, those two or three times that we used to listening to Madonna, you fucking tool. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those two or three times <laughs> that we uh, that we each uh, went went out and cruised Park Avenue, we would have been blasting something yeah, like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad I never got into yeah, that same, scene. Listen, yeah. But, well, so much for reminiscing. Anyways, uh, no, no, thank you very much. Uh, that was cool. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, uh, keep dropping the suggestions. Uh, that, oh, he's got two more. Okay. So. Well, you're not allowed any more then. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, um, no, thank you very much because that, that, that was thoroughly enjoyable. I needed that. Yeah, that was, yeah. It was all but with a breath of fresh air. Yeah. Yes. But... Fairly well. Thank you.